on the cutting edge today, and now we're going to address some of the most annoying problems as you age. Now, first, do you ever have that feeling like you get the world's smallest bladder, that you're constantly running to pee every 10 minutes? Well, it's a condition, right? You guys are all laughing about it. You don't even think you know what you have. But you know what? It's a condition we have not talked about before, because I'm about to reveal how you can stop this from happening to you. Patricia's going to help us explain this. Welcome, Patricia. Hi, how are you? You have to go pee a lot? All the time. Three to four times before I even came here. Three to four times already? Yes, yes. Yeah. Have you had urinary problems in the past? I have. Very much so. Um, three to four times a year. UTIs. Infections? Yes. All right. How many of you have heard of incomplete urinary emptying? Like four people in the back there. All right. <laughs> I'll tell you something, folks. You all think you know why you're not able to urinate the way you want to. This thing affects millions of women across the country. Most have no mm -hmm. idea. I'm going to explain what this is with an animation. I'm going to do a test today to, to help show you what I'm talking about and a little home test that will work for you as well. So come on over. This is an animation about what goes on in your bladder naturally. So you know, here you are in the pelvic area. Let's take that away. You've got some key organs here. There's a uterus, that pink thing, that dark maroon structure is the bladder. And in the pelvis, if we turn to the side, you see the bladder is able to empty out urine because you've got a sphincter down here. But if the bladder is not emptying all the way, if there's urine yes. left in there after you go potty, the enclosed bacteria will begin to grow in that urine. Yes. Like if you left urine in the toilet, it would grow bacteria, same in your bladder. So when it says an infection, it gets red and angry and irritated, and that can cause urinary tract infections and the pain that goes along with it. So the question is, why, why, why would there be times when you would have incomplete emptying of the bladder? And there are a lot of things that cause it. Hormones cause it, aging cause it. But if you have it, you have it. And there's simple things we can do to, to deal with it. So I'm gonna examine you if it's okay. Okay. Patricia, hop up here. And uh, now I'm about to show you a cutting edge technique to see how much urine is left in Patricia's bladder. And right now, and there's no knives involved. You'll be happy to know. Does that give you reassurance? You can slide down a little bit. Get, get comfortable here. All right. Now, this is an ultrasound device. Now, when was the last time you went to the bathroom? Uh, five seconds ago. Five seconds ago. <laughs> so you, you, you peed during the animation, or was it before I that? I did, yeah, the animation. So right before the show, <laughs> Patricia went to the bathroom. If you don't mind loosening up this year, you're close to time, but I'm going to get in here. Now, she made me promise and swear not to show her belly fat. That's right. Is that okay? That's right. All right. So I'm going to take this here, if you don't mind. I'm going to slide okay. down. You know what, just put that under there for me, and just push that all down. I have to get about two finger breasts above your pelvic bone. Okay. Okay, so where's your pelvic bone? Down here? Right here. So I need to get down here. Okay. So, okay. We're headed in the right direction anyway. Good. All right. So the ultrasound device is very simple. You've all seen devices like this. The PVR bladder scan. This is a post-void uh, scan. It looks like the post-void residual. How much urine is left in your bladder after you've gone to the bathroom. So I'm going to put an ultrasound device here. It's a little bit cold. There we are. Okay, now we're looking right there. That's a pretty good picture right there. And can you all see that on the big screen? Yeah. All right. Let's freeze that there. Inside here is the urine, and it's 250 mLs. That's about uh, eight and a half ounces. Wow. There's eight and a half ounces. You all see the urine in there? See that there? And there's the volume, you know, 250 mLs, eight and a half ounces. So I'm going to clean that up. Okay. Let me explain to you what that means. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. So if you have eight and a half ounces of urine left after you just went to the bathroom, yes. you can hop up. That means that you're above what we consider the, the maximum will allow, which is about 150 mLs. That's about five ounces. So if you're retaining too much urine in your side of you, you're setting yourself up for the thing that I'm talking about there. So this is not just a problem for women. This is also an issue for men, not in the exact same mechanism, but men will also keep urine in their bladders after they think they've emptied themselves out completely if their prostates have gotten large. So I'm going to give you two at-home tests. The first is called the belly pressing test. We're all going to do it together. All right, I want you to take your fingers, and I want you to press on your belly. Simple as it sounds. At the end of urinating, next time, I want you to push just above your pelvic bone in there and see if it makes you want to go to the bathroom again, right? Because if you've got... A little. You know, you, a little bit? Yeah, because yeah, I just saw you have, you know, you have almost <laughs> twice as much... You have almost twice as much urine as you're supposed to have in there. So you're not peeing everything out. And if you have that much urine, you've got to go see a urologist yes. to get ahead of it. The other test is called the double voiding test. And that is all about how long you, does it take you to need to go to the bathroom after you just went to the bathroom. So if 10 minutes after urinating, you, got, you can go again and try to push yourself, that means that you've got retained urine in there because your bladder should never want, you know, you should have so little left in there, your, your bladder can't go. Right. Okay? So I'll give you some solutions. One in particular that I want you to think about from now on, flax seeds. 
Now remember, you gotta ground flax seeds up pretty soon before you use them. You can't right. grind them up weeks ahead of time. Mm -hmm. You can add it to whatever you're having for breakfast in the morning, okay. yogurt or oatmeal. But I made this little so smoothie drink. Mm -hmm. it's, it's simple to, to make these things. And it helps soothe the lining of the urinary tract, which makes it easier for the bladder to expel the urine that's in it. Okay. So let's see if you like the taste of this thing. Okay. You know, I've not tasted it yet either. Pretty good. You have to go to the bathroom? Yeah. I don't. <laughs> Any questions? Make sense? Yes, it makes sense. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thanks for letting me examine you. So